Hello everyone. So this is the third episode of the T-Rex series we are doing. So here we are going to work on uh, how to make the T-Rex detect player and chase, start chasing the player uh, once he detect us. And if I break the line of sight, he will return to his normal uh, patrolling behavior. So here, let me just go to his uh, vision code then he will start chasing me seen me but if I pass yeah, now he saw me mm -hmm. he has seen me he is chasing me So let me just run somewhere, break his line of sight. He's not waiting for me, he's just returning to his normal roaming behavior, free roaming behavior. And if I go detected again, he will do the same. So right now there are no attack animations or anything. It's just he's chasing me. So that's what we are going to do today. We are going to add a uh, side perception and we are going to set up a branch in the behavior tree so that he will be chasing me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see how to do these things in this episode. And here is the playlist so far and before we get started let me remind you that there are over 2000 tutorials in my channel for each tutorial project files are available for download once you become a member you can access anything without any limits uh, but for this particular tutorial i will not be able to share this uh, t-rex character as that is not something i have created but i will still be able to share with you the code that i write so yeah Feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in description below. And this episode is sponsored by this generous patron. Thank you very much for your support. Okay, so last time we implemented this uh, behavior for the T-Rex to patrol around the given path, and we added a behavior tree as well. So here you can see this is the patrol part the T-Rex is taking. Now today we are going to add the a way to detect the player. So the T-Rex will start chasing the player and interrupt it is following behavior, uh, the patrolling behavior. Okay, so first let me go to blueprints and AI T-Rex and then I'll add a perception component AI perception and here now we need to set up the sense configurations census config I'll set AI site config and as the dominant sense I'll add site if I expand this you can see site radius and low site radius very vision half angle you see all the things settings related to site so I'll keep the default values and then yeah I think I have enabled this neutrals and friendlies as well mm -hmm. Now here, on this on perception, on target perception updated, let's add this uh, event. And here, let me break the stimulus here, the stimulus, and let's add a print so we can see. So this should become true if we are seeing it this will become false if we lost sight of 
whatever the actor represented here so i'll get the actor name scene yeah print. so if i'm seeing it actor name scene true will be printed and if i lose sight actor name scene false will be printed so i'll keep this for like 10 seconds so we have enough time to read yeah. see third person character scene true and if i move away third person character scene false that means i moved away from the vision cone of this npc if i move away here again scene true Move back, scene false. Okay, now my character is actually detected. So this would become complicated if we have more than two uh, characters, but right now I just want to demonstrate how to use this. So let's not complicate things for now. But please note that when there are multiple characters, you will get multiple calls of this with different actors uh, here now we do have a way to determine some target for the t-rex to chase now let's go back to the behavior tree so here we already added this chase target but nothing is happening here so if i go to the blackboard we already have this enemy detected boolean i can set it to true if i set it to true the in the behavior tree the patrol behavior will be stopped so here but one thing is this will not stop right away even if i set this enemy detector to true because in the middle of this task is being performed in the middle if i change this this will not be interrupted right away but if you want to do that on value change observer awards we can do this so this would stop this patrolling right away and then the next time we will be doing this chase target so let's test this now so if this is true we can get black board copy this name detected get value as cool. and boolean value be this if we have successfully detected this should be true otherwise if we lose sight this should again become false well actually no let's have a branch here because we are dealing with blackboard values if this is true this should become true if this is false we should oh yeah okay. all right now once we enter the vision of the vision cone of the t-rex T-Rex should stop moving if it is working correctly. So let's see. Now, if I go to the behavior tree, you see, oh, it's waiting now. It's not waiting. What is that? Okay, I know what what happened. So even though we, when we start seeing the character, 
we do switch to this branch but this uh, AI mode this is not interrupted because we don't make any kind of a call to stop the moment existing moment of the character so the for the T-Rex is continues to move but this task is supported though I if I want to abort the moment we know to do something about that so here receive abort AI from this we can get moment stop immediately this will interrupt this only active AI mode function this event will be called when we abort we set to abort self and the to be fine yeah let's test so once the NPCs see me it should stop more once it already seen me it's not seen me let me here once it see me now it stopped moving but if I move away from the vision it continues to move go again stops moving if I go to behavior free you can see this path is executing here okay because we need a similar kind of a condition here if this is set only if this is set this path should be executed but if this condition changes then we need to abort just waiting as well so that's that should work accordingly let's see So he is stopped because he is moving. So stopped pause. Why is it continue to see a pause? Now it's moving now. Okay, so yeah, it's working as intended now the next step is testing behavior for that we need to give a target to chase so in the blackboard i let a new object yes target no let's call it because I'm using an dot variable here object before type no. this is an object base class I will choose center. and and now we have the key to our default mode so this is a default task so if we come here if this let's pass as the blackboard key so this t-rex will try to reach 
to the enemy actor. Accept the axe. The acceptable radius as 400. And now, if we are to actually do this, we need to set an enemy actor value. We can do that. Yeah. As said this. Set the value as the value should be this actor. Name. I think these two should be interchanged because before we set this to true, we should set the actor, otherwise, we might have an invalid reference in the enemy actor blackboard key. Test. Start. Test like this. Here it is over there. Okay, so it can't reach me. That's what happening here. I come over here. See? Okay, it can't reach me because I was above. And there is no new mesh. Now he is chasing me actually. If I break line of sight, I couldn't do that. Let me run away. I'm somewhere. No, four. Now he's not seeing me anymore. He's returning. Okay, so that's very simple behavior, but yeah, it's working now. If I go detected there again, he will again come and start chasing me. And I think that's clear enough. We, we can stop this episode right here. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And see you in another episode. Goodbye.